What's up you guys? Welcome to a Let's Play of Skyrim the Anniversary Edition on PlayStation 5. I know this game has been done to death on YouTube, but it's pretty much all I've been playing when I was away in England and I figured why not? Let's just do it. Not exactly good old days, but at the same time it is. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, they'd have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. What if I want to be an elf? No, I don't. But, uh, we'll look at everything available, though. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Do you ever have berry flavored beer? It's actually pretty good. Where are they going? To go inside Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa. Yes, Papa. Move it! Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! <clears throat> Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? Okay, he got cut off there, but yeah, I think it wants you to be a Nord, just based on how the story goes. We could be an Orc, a Red Guard, a Wood Elf, the classic Skyrim stuff. That is so good. I don't even remember how to say this. Imperial. Every race has some relative perk or something. Although it's not as deep as I originally thought. But I, to speed things up and not waste so much time here, I'm going to be an Argonian. This reptilian race, well suited for the treacherous swamps of their Black Marsh homeland, has developed a natural resistance to diseases and the ability to breathe underwater. You can call upon things that we'll get into. Could be a female, I guess, but we will just do a preset, I think, just again to speed things along. Um, 
I don't know, I just think they all look pretty cool. It reminds me of a Lizalfos from Legend of Zelda a little bit. And I like them. Uh, this guy is what I played as my very first time through. I was playing on the Xbox One. Changed the skin tone to something other than the green, but I might just do it. I don't know, there's like a part of me that's like, just do what you did before. Even though like, on a second playthrough I should do something different. But yeah, like this is pretty much good enough. I'm not even gonna mess with everything else. I don't know, I like the face paint and I like the little like feathers in his hair and the horns. So actually if we change the hair we can get different like a mohawk of horns, that's kind of cool. But I'm just gonna go with the default here. And uh, we'll get into my play style, what I choose to do as an Argonian a little bit later. Um, it's a little bit different coming from the Xbox controller to PlayStation, but it's basically the same thing. I'm gonna go with Bill, even though Argonians have weird names like stands in swamps or like always raises her legs in water. <laughs> Are you a relative of one of the Rift and Dark Workers, Argonian? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure you remain so returned to Black Marsh. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Why would you just off? Somebody you don't even know who they're supposed to be or whether they did something wrong. Olden times, man. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon For you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling that guy right now. Come on! I haven't got all morning. Just because you know so many people have seen this intro, but it's still neat. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Eh, crud. You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the lizard! Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next, prisoner! To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. Kinda makes no sense why they call you second, but then, in terms of gameplay, it makes perfect sense. Like, let's get on with it, you know? Chaos happening, but let's just follow this dude who's been kind of cool the whole time. Yara Rover, what is that thing? Would the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. We need to move now! Up through the tower. Let's go! Alright, let's do it, even though that guy just got his cloth removed from his mouth and now he sounds cool. Hi. Can't examine bodies just yet, I guess. See the inn on the other side. Jump through the roof and keep going. Yeah, this Roloff guy, or however you say his name. Oh, I think he's a fan favorite. But uh, more on that later, I guess. Hemming, you need to get over here now. Yeah, we got this dude. That a boy. They're doing great. Toro. Gosh. Still alive, prisoner? Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. 
gods guide you, Hadvar. I just realized this is the guy that was like, yeah, we'll make sure your stuff gets back to the Black Marsh. Stay close to the wall! Quickly, follow me! I don't know why his fire breath sound keeps cutting out like that. That's weird. I don't remember it doing that on Xbox, but maybe... Who knows? It's you and me, prisoner! Stay close! Escaping Hadvar. You're not snubbing us this time. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign. Alright, so this is our first choice. We can follow Rayloff, who's been pretty cool with the storm cloaks. Or we could go follow this guy, which I didn't even realize I had a choice the first time I played. So I followed this guy, that's why I'm doing it again. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? The bring us of the end times? We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. Yeah, and bones. Alright, now so let's just grab some stuff. I'm not really going to explain the menus see, too much. Make. Well, yeah, we're just grabbing some light armor, and uh, that's perfect. I'm going to roll with light armor, one-handed weapons, archery is going to be my main thing. And I'm kind of going for the thievery thing. That is my playstyle here. You gotta get that armor on. Get that sword if you swing. Oh too. well, we got a prompt in the way. I like the third-person view, and uh, when it gets a little bit quieter, I'll, I'll explain why and like what I think about the camera and stuff. It's good. It serves its purpose for when this game was made. And just like all the Elder Scrolls games in general, like what they've done. But yeah, finding these pole chains and stuff can be kind of tricky. What was that? So let's hold R2. Power attack! Since we're apparently on the Imperial side, Stormcloaks are bad. Sorry, lady. But uh, you stood up too slow after all that. So you could take everything off of them, which is kind of interesting. Get that door open and sell it. And when I first played this game, I took everything possible and I was soon over encumbered, which is the worst mechanic in all video games. But uh, I know now not to do that, so if ever I do get over encumbered, don't worry, I'm gonna cut out how slow it makes you walk. But for the most part, we're gonna try to play through this beginning and the first couple quests without ever getting over encumbered. There's a whole survival mode thing now, too, which... Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. What are you doing? We need to get out of Helgen, now! These Imperials I don't know what he's talking about. We're going to need them. Where did you come from? Uh, I was trying to... I'm crouching, trying to build up the sneak skill a little bit already. Whoops, stamina's low. So it can't do power swings anymore. Oh yeah, I like the cinematic deaths. So we just An old story. See if we can find gained a level in something. In or I guess you could call it experience more so than a level. Uh, so we want to grab healing, stamina, magicka potions that were in that barrel. And there's some other stuff in this room somewhere. I'm not used to the 60 frames, though. Salt pile, that's very good for making food, which I thought was more amazing than it is when I first started playing the game. There's aspects to this game Done, then. This way. that I really enjoy, that excite me in the fact that they're a thing at all, but then they only go so far, and the cooking torturer. is one of those things. Alright, there's a guy down here with a torturer's hood that's very good. I think he's on our side, though. What the heck? That'll teach me to cross me. It almost looked like I cast that spell, but I didn't. Anyway, over here, there is a mace. Yeah, I'll grab the shield, too. We could sell it. I'm not gonna roll with the shield. Give me that hood, sir! Well, that's kinda cool looking. Jeez! I never saw one that cinematic before. 
But yeah, the Torturer's Hood, armor ranking of 15. That's better than the Imperial Light Helmet that I could find here somewhere, or maybe I already grabbed. Yeah, I already grabbed it in the first chest. But the boots and the bracers... Oh, we already did have the boots. We didn't have the bracers, though, so it was a good thing I stole them off of him. And, uh, yeah, I already equipped the Torturer's Hood. See if you can get it open with some picks. Oh, uh, lockpicking, yes! So... There's nothing in here, but I want to increase the lockpicking skill as much as I can. So the idea is a lockpick, you rotate the left and the right at the same time. And the novice ones are pretty easy. It's one of those things you just have to get a feel for. Watching-wise, I don't think it's... <laughs> it's not anything. Uh, crap, broke it. So it's somewhere over to the right, a little bit back. And there we go. This is the one that matters. There's gold in here. Potion of Minor Magicka, and a new spell, which is Sparks. So we go to Books, whoops, and use it. There we go. I think by default we have the Flame spell. Oh, this guy's got good robes, too. So if you wanted to play using mostly magic, this is basically the intro part of that. Let's open this, too, even though there's nothing in it. Uh, I'm rushing, you could tell. At least it didn't break that time. I think there's one more to the left here. Yeah, there is. Let's open this one, too. Hopefully we'll get a lockpick level. Or no, maybe not. I just noticed the bar was too low anyway. We're close, though. Lockpicking, pickpocketing, sneaking, all the thievery stealth skills. I want to... That's my focus. I started a second file when I was, uh, like after I beat the main quest and everything in this game. I started a second file, and I started playing more... Come on, hurry up. I don't know what I did, but I tested out the magic a little bit too, but I think overall, the thievery playstyle and Where archery... Are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? It's kind of Just my favorite way of doing this. Me. So, like, this might build up sneak, I don't know. Iron Greatsword. See, like, that would be a cool thing to try. To be more the brutal warrior type with a two-handed weapon and a shield. Or, like, one-handed weapon and a shield, but... The two-handed stuff, like the Greatswords. Ah, I gotta stop examining these bodies. It's just habit to check everything, but... I kind of feel frantic about it in recording, but these guys, absolutely, I was just talking about it. Get out of here and give me that ball. Whoa. That was pretty cool, man. Getting some lucky little cinematics here. Better than I've seen in a while, because sometimes it does that cinematic thing, it's, it's random. And sometimes it does it and it's just, it barely gets a good angle at all. But alright, there's a way to favorite your weapons, I want to do that real quick. So we'll favorite the long bow, because it's our only bow right now, and the iron sword. But let's switch to the bow and get some of the archery skill up. Because that's going to be my primary thing. Sneaking, archery, pickpocketing, lockpicks. So there you go. If that was your main question of what's my playstyle with this Oblivion stuff, or not Oblivion, Skyrim. <laughs> Elder Scrolls. What the heck happened? Oh yeah, up here. We'd better push on. I'm sure the others will find another way out. Could go third person for a little bit. There's some better spots to go third person. But the game is designed to be played in first person, I think. For a lot of things. There's a coin purse right here. That's very good. Only 13 gold. It said at the top left, in case you're wondering. Oh, here we go. This will help sneak out. We got spiders and archery. Good thing I've already played this game. Because I was pretty sloppy and bad my first time through. We go sneak has increased level progress we're getting close to level two now uh, well more on that when we actually get there 
You see why I like archery? Especially when you have a helper following you like this guy. Uh, whoops. Oh yeah, there you go. So you can grab your arrows sometimes. It's also random. It's like a roll of the dice that you can actually improve the dice roll mechanic with a certain perk later on, but... Every now and then if you kill something with an arrow, or if you shoot an arrow at something at all... Speaking of, this guy's gonna give us some arrows. Where'd he go? But yeah, you can get your arrows back sometimes. I could've just bolted ahead, but I kinda want the arrows this guy has. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. You might be able to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow, and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take it by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Another coin purse? Twelve arrows, man. It was worth it. Easy does it. See, like, that's a good thing for third person, I that think. Was close. I like the third person because I always like to see your character. Like, oh yeah, I'm playing as this cool lizard dude. I don't know, just every now and then it excites me. This looks like the way out. I was starting to wonder if we'd ever make Well, there we go. We are going to just basically rush through the intro of this because it's going to be about a half hour or so. Wait. Survival mode. Uh, okay, this is new. I'm going to not do that because we're just going to basically play the normal game. I have some things in mind. As we get walking here with less character dialogue, I will tell you what I'm planning on doing. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Well, we're gonna follow him, though. I did side with the Imperials, because you basically have an optional choice. You don't have to do it, it's not part of the main quest. Even though right now it kind of seems that way. Grab this. Whoops. You should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. There you go, join the Imperial Legion in Solitude like he was talking about. You could do that or you can join the Stormcloak Rebellion. Which sounds so much cooler than Imperial Legion. But I actually sided with the Imperials when I finally got around to seeing what that entailed. Because I thought, I did it based on the body armor. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. That kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. Yeah, we're gonna be going there soon. It's not too bad. Probably next episode. Here we go. This is what'll really kick off our playstyle. Not the thistle, but these things. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. See for yourself. So the intro things. Thief, Mage, and Warrior Stone. It's basically choose your playstyle. I'm going with Thief. Stealth skills are now going to level 20% faster. Thief. Eh? Well, apparently it's a trophy, too. To take charge of your own fate, you know? And now, while he's continuing on, I'm going to sneak over here to this fishing camp and hope that the hunter chases a crab or something. I could just hit her with an arrow, but I were level 1. It probably wouldn't kill her. And there's no need to, she's friendly. But... I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Hunting and fishing? Okay, we're hidden. I guess I should explain that mechanic, shouldn't I? Fishing map? I don't know anything about this. This is anniversary edition stuff that I've not tangled with. I played the special edition before. Let's see if we can... Okay, see how it says detected and now it's closed and says hidden? So we're safe to pick this. When you're sneaking, that's an important thing to pay attention to. And, oh, it's, it was almost a level. 
Now we gotta catch up with Hadvar. And play as a camera, yay! That's my thing with the Elder Scrolls games, is it feels like you're not playing as a character, you're playing as a camera. And it, it's only, it's, it becomes very apparent when you're in third person jumping around and you realize how clumsy and clunky it is. But it's still pretty cool. So first person is kind of the way to go, usually. Especially when you're taking your archery shots and stuff. So Hadvar has already been through here and took out these wolves. I'm going to steal the pelts off of them because they become leather later. And early on, at least, the smithing skill. Grab some red mountain flowers. Admire the low textures on some things. But yeah, the smithing skill, we can at least craft leather armor. I'm going to roll with light armor, and that's what leather is. And, uh... Well, by gosh, it fits snug and tight and good. Nah, I don't know. We can craft it and have it and be on our way to things better things. Things quiet enough here. Come on, there's my uncle. Uh, while he's doing that, speaking of, let's get some leather. Well, uh, Uncle Alvar, hello. Nah, we'll do that later. What are you doing here? Are you on leave from shores of boats? What happened to you, boy? Shh, you Uncle, kind please. Of Keep your voice down. I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. Tell her about it. What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as I saw a dragon. Didn't we all? Yeah, so we gotta listen to these guys a little bit. But, uh... It's not too long. Just getting through that intro that most games have. Sigrid, we have company. And of course, if you actually like follow along with the story, it is interesting if you're into fantasy, Lord of the Rings type stuff. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Or I guess rather Game of Thrones more so. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to start. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a skull. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. What the heck's going on with I'm, that cutlery that's board? Ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? <laughs> Husband, let him tell a story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. Alright, so he's giving us stuff, bread, carrot, cheese. Don't really need the beer, but everything else for now, I'll grab. Well, you know what? You can always give a beer to somebody. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. All right, so you can talk mm -hmm. all kinds of did things. Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Well, I don't better get back to work. You two make yourselves at A home. gentleman's guide to white run sounds dirty. Look at that, 60 frames per second of uh, page flipping. Some books have skills. This chest is not stealing for some reason, so that's nice. All right, so that is basically the intro, but... We can kick off some other stuff while we're here in Riverwood, which is a cool town I would like to live in if I had a choice. We could do the leather thing I was talking about here on the tanning rack. 
So with the wolf pelts, they become leather. Leather becomes leather strips if you want to. Which I'm not going to do that right now. We got to wait till we get more pelts. And then you come over here to the forge and go to leather. And I can't do anything now, but the leather armor rating is better by default than the Imperial light armor. So that's why I'm saying early on right now, it would be nice to craft Take that. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Okay, what do you got in your butt? Don't even think about it. <laughs> hey, whoops. Oh, who's this guy? That fentanyl dude? F yeah, whatever. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. What's your problem with Sven? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. What about the one who just walked into you? I hope. Uh... Sure. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Okay, so we're doing an optional side quest here. All right, then. These two guys like the same girl. And you can actually change it depending on who you talk to. And uh, I think this guy's going to his house, and I would like to get there before it and work? be a thief and steal all his arrows. Wait, what the heck? Why does this not look like I remember? Where's this Fendall dude's house? I know it's on a hill. But, well, there's a lot of hills, and, you know. Maybe I should just follow him. Whatever, I'm wasting time and I feel frantic. I apologize for speeding through some of this. Like the dialogue choices. Lucan over in the Riverwood Trader says thieves. Oh wait, maybe it's back here. No, this isn't right either. Maybe it is. Maybe his is the one off to the right there. Unless it's up this hill. No, I don't know. Forget it. I don't need to go in there and steal his arrows. But we can trigger the quest that we're going to be doing the next episode here in the trader. The Riverwood Trader. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. All right, so here's the girl that needs the leather, uh, letter. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Okay, so we just favored Fendall. I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. The Riverwood Trader is... Did something uh, happen? We, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in, but we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I could help get it you back. Could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Darkness on the edge of town. That's a good song by Bruce Springsteen, man. So she's out here somewhere leading us to the edge of town, but all right, let's go talk to this fentanyl dude. What, what was his name? Fendall? Tell me yeah. as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. We did. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. 25 gold for that, so yeah. Beginning game quest. Good day. He can follow you? That's tempting, actually. I don't know why this girl's not moving. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. 
do we lead her to the edge of town? I thought it was supposed to be the other way around. Sometimes the pathfinding and stuff is a little bit wonky. Like you could tell it needs a reset every now and then. Wow, look at that view. That's pretty cool, even though like... Like it's updated, of course, but the textures are still old. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. All right, well, next time we are going to go this way and up to the left towards this awesome sunset. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you stick around with this series and take care.